can I own property legally in Mexico? And the answer to that question is yes, absolutely. Otherwise, I wouldn't be down here, right? Um, uh, so uh, we live in what's called the restricted zone. I'm gonna throw a chart up here so you can see where the restricted zone is located. If, if you were to own property outside of the restricted zone, you could own Mexican fee simple. Uh, you just have a simple deed that's registered in the city registry. But we do live in the restricted zone. And 99% uh, uh, of our clients own property through what's called the Fidi Comisio. Fidi Comisio is essentially a real estate bank trust. Um, uh, the, you, you, very similar to a trust in the United States if you, if you have a, a, a family trust in the States. You have a trustee or a fiduciary and in this case it would be a bank that's authorized to do business in Mexico, uh, a BBVA bank homer, uh, a Benorte bank, Santander bank, Scotia bank, just to name a few. These, these banks are authorized to do business in Mexico and one of their divisions is acting as trustees for a Fidi Comisio. Uh, the bank acts as the trustee, you are the beneficiary, uh, you will name an heir or a secondary beneficiary in the case of your death, you will name an heir during your closing process. And um, uh, uh, the bank then knows who the rightful owner of the property would be in the unfortunate case of your death. Uh, we have to present a death certificate uh, to the bank and simply we notify the bank and then the property transfers to your heirs. Um, the trust looks like this. It's a big document. Okay, it's, uh, it's, all in, it's all in Spanish, and it also includes your deed, and I'll pull up the deed here. The deed looks like this, right here. And in the deed, it has what's called the inscription number. And the inscription number, you can take that inscription number, look it up on a website called ecerson.gov.mex, and you can type that in and it will pull up the information who your trustee bank is uh, you pull up your name as the beneficiary and also pull up uh, your property tax id number and any other pertinent information such as when you closed when it was transferred uh, some good useful information there you can always check it out to see if your deed is in good order now the trust lays out all of the rights and responsibilities that you have uh, very similar to rights and responsibilities that a Mexican citizen has. Uh, the, you have the right to own, the right to sell, the right to rent, the right to make modifications, um, and the right to gift it to your heirs. And, and, uh, and then, you know, if you don't want to gift it or, you know, you're here long, you know, for 40 years, you can, you can uh, sell the property. Uh, the trust is good for 50 years. It's renewable for another 50. There will be a fee for that. We haven't gotten to the 50 year mark on a trust yet, so we don't know what those fees are going to be. Um, the, uh, uh, the trust contains the, the history of the property. Uh, it includes the floor plans, uh, includes uh, who the developer was. So essentially a history of, of the property. Uh, and it's going to, uh, uh, again, include uh, your beneficiary information, uh, your address, um, all, that, all that good information that we need uh, to know who the rightful owner is of the property. Um, usually it's, it's taking us about 90 days to close right now on a property. I have another video uh, webcast uh, with one of our premier attorneys, Jorge Valdez. Uh, take a look at uh, my interview with him. He gives some really good information about the process and why it's taking so long to, uh, uh, to close on a property. Um, your closing costs, uh, talking about closings and, and, the, and the processing of the trust, your closing costs are going to be, de depending on the purchase price, between 3 and uh, 6%. Uh, of the purchase price are going to be your closing costs. Uh, the closing costs are going to include the notarial fees, uh, the attorney fees, uh, closing coordinating fees, uh, the registration of the deed, uh, and then some minor fees uh, such as blueprint fee 
and uh, they pull what's called the certificate of no lien to make sure that the property is is clean. There's there's no outstanding liens on the property, and you'll you'll get a you'll get a, a form stamped by the public registry showing that that it is uh, free and clear. Um, one of the main uh, closing costs, the big closing cost, is a two percent transfer tax, and that's included in the. Uh, three to six percent that that I had stated. Uh, it's a two percent transfer tax. Now, you may say, well, wh why why is it so high? Two percent of what? Two percent of the purchase price, believe it or not. Um, your property taxes here are incredibly low um, uh, compared to you know uh, San Diego or or the West Coast, East Coast of the United States. Uh, your property taxes for an oceanfront property are about $200 a year. Uh, the government wants their money up front. Uh, and because of your property taxes are so low, uh, they're going to charge a 2% transfer tax up front upon close. So be prepared to pay 3 to 6% uh, of the purchase price at close. And it's on a sliding scale. The the higher the purchase price, the, the lower the percentage. So like on a $600,000 property, the closing costs are going to be roughly uh, uh, 3%. If you're buying a lot, uh, the lot, let's say it's $50,000, you could have closing costs that are about 11%. Um, that's uh, it uh, generally. That's the general information that you need to know about uh, bank trusts and how to own property legally here in, in Mexico. Uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, my partner Sandy and I are always here. And um, uh, also visit our website at rockypointkyle.com. Uh, click on the tab uh, information and newsletters and that will give you uh, uh, very good detailed information on what it takes on property here, floor plans of the different resorts, uh, and questions and answers that will help you make uh, your decision on whether to buy here in Rocky Point. Thank you so much for visiting with us. We hope to see you soon. Please reach 